are a series of slides primarily from advertising and pop culture illustrating our misidentification of evolution, our misequation, I should say, of evolution with a notion of inherent progress. It doesn't mean that. And yet the only icon we know, the only picture we know of evolution is the ladder of ascent from ape to human or from single-celled creature up. Look, I'm not saying that this is literally what we believe. This is a caricature. That's why it's funny. That's why cartoonists and advertisers use it. But it's only a caricature of what we really do believe, that there is a more general predictable form. We wouldn't understand it as the primary icon of evolution if it weren't, in fact, a caricature of our actual beliefs, namely that there is, at least in a broad sense, a predict progressivist predictability to increasing complexification and evolution. These come primarily from cartooning and advertising. My friend Mike Peters, who does Mother Goose and Grimm and who started at the Dayton Daily News as their editorial cartoonist, once put it to me very well in saying, if you want to really understand what pop culture takes as its primary picture of any phenomenon, you look to our work. Because as you're going through your newspaper, you're going to give one-tenth of a second's attention to any drawing that you see. And unless it is the canonical drawing, the one that everybody understands, you'll pass it by. And that's why we have to use the drawing that people understand. So here is evolution in popular culture. And I know no more dramatic example of our continuing confusion of evolution with progress and, our theref and therefore, as Muller put it, our inability really to grasp the essence of Darwin's argument. Oh, I, I, there are several sub-series here. This is the American regionalism sub-series. California version, the evolution of surf trunks through history. As anyone who's sensitive to regional accents will know, I'm a New Yorker. And the next one is my version. This is the anywhere in America where scientific creationism is rampant version. Here's a gentleman holding a sign saying Earth is only 10,000 years old, standing in his proper place in the sequence. <laughs> Next is the American Cultures series. First we have high culture. The ones I've selected, I have an enormous collection of these things. I've selected for tonight a sub-series that just shows the ape to human part of the sequence. But I thought I'd show you one that shows the whole thing from amoebae up here to white male in a business suit down there, thereby folding another kind of bias into the diagram. I don't want you to think I'm some elitist only making fun of pop culture. This kind of icon does not appear in professional publications as often, but sometimes it does. This is from the best available textbook on human evolution, Campbell's Humankind Emerging. And what do we see? The march of evolution from the chimp in the trees, who's not our ancestor but our cousin, up the conventional sequence. Australopithecus shown as stoop-shouldered, even though we've known since the 1920s they walked as erect as we do, up the conventional sequence. And let me mention another other kind of rather more pernicious bias embedded in here, which is unconscious. I'm sure if I pointed this out to the artist, that person would want every copy of this back, and deep six them all and start over again. But do notice the progressive lightening of skin in the racist tradition. And that's not because there's less hair. There's actually a lightening of skin. We do this so unconsciously. We don't even see the racist context out of which it came. How many of you noticed the first slide I showed? had the same lightening of skin in the surf trunks. I showed that slide for two years before I noticed it. That's how unconscious we are. And by the way, uh, quite apart from its moral perniciousness, it doesn't even make any sense in any way, no matter what your views on race are, all human races are equally old. It just doesn't make any logical sense to depict that current variety with any one race, whatever one you choose.